Today I'm making rigata gnocchi, so let's get started. It all starts with flour. I got a cup of flour and an egg. Traditional gnocchi or gnocchi, however you say it, is done with potatoes. This one doesn't have any potatoes. So there's my eggs, my flour. I've got about a cup and a half of rigata cheese. Always get whole milk rigata, and if it looks really, really wet, you can put it in a drainer overnight and let that moisture uh, drop out. And we'll just start mixing this together a little bit. And then what we do is we put a half, half a stick of butter. And we mix that together, see how that's coming together real nice. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. This. I just kind of guess at it. Ends up being probably quarter to a half a cup. Then what I want is the zest of a lemon. So you can see these aren't traditional ingredients you would put in with the gnocchi, but this is going to be served with a sun-dried tomato and caper and lemon sauce, and that is delicious. So we're reflecting those flavors here. And when you start zesting this lemon, it's so delicious. So I'm going to mix this all together. Form it into a dough and then I'm going to show you how to roll it out. So at this point I'm going to just put some flour on my hand and get right in here and start mixing it. And this is, oh my gosh, this is what you're looking for. It is going to be a little bit wet, but that's what you want. And as we roll it out, you'll see what I'm talking about. So a little bit of flour on the board. Roll this out here. So you can see it's a little bit sticky. I want every bit of that. that aside. Now some more flour on my hands and on here. All we want to do is make this come together. This isn't a dough that you do a lot of kneading with. You just bring it together till it forms a dough and you can see that's looking pretty good. Look at this. This is exactly what you want. I'm going to let this set for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to roll out the gnocchi. Flour your board, get a little flour on your hands and this is where the technique comes in. You're going to want to roll this out actually like a cigar. So that's the fingers in the middle, a little pressure, bring it out to the sides. When it gets about like this, you start to cut them. What is that, maybe an inch? Here's what my grandma sh showed me. Two fingers, press it in, pull it towards you, push it away. That allows you to form these little gnocchis that have these uh, valleys in it and that's where the sauce is going to pick up and that's what adds to the flavor. So I'm going to do this and I put them over here on my board and when I fill this up this is going to go in the freezer because I'm going to cook these up later on. If, all right I'm ready to make the sauce. What I've got here is one cup of white wine. I used a Chardonnay and I've reduced this down to about half. To that what I'm going to do is add some butter. And I've got actually a stick of butter, but I'm going to add a little bit at a time here. Thicken this up. Make it nice and silky. I've got the juice from half a lemon. Also to this, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of capers. Quarter of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Then we're going to just let this come together. Okay, so this sauce is really coming together. I added some black pepper. I went and added about what equated to about a half a stick of butter, which seemed like a lot, but it, it's really not. And this is going to cook down. I gave it a taste, and it tasted amazing. Let's see. That's really delicious. I'm just going to turn this off. Let this set. I did this early on purpose because I want to just cover it up and let those flavors come together. Okay, well this sauce is looking beautiful. It's just the right silkiness. See that, that gloss that you've got? So this is ready to go. I've got this on low. And then over here, I've got a pot of boiling water. And I'm just gonna drop in this gnocchi and we will be back when we put it all together. Okay, I dropped these in the boiling water. When they start to float to the top, which they're just beginning to, you let them go one more minute, then we're gonna drain them, 
put them in the pan with the sauce and we'll be eating dinner. Okay, the gnocchis are done. We're gonna drop them right into the sauce. And stir them around. I've got some, oh, look at this, you guys. This is amazing. It's going to capture all of that beautiful flavor. It's gonna get absorbed into the gnocchi. So you just stir it till it's coated. I've got some fresh parsley. I'm gonna throw over the top and then we'll plate it up and we're eating. I'm gonna plate them up and that's it. I threw some parsley on top, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's my regatta gnocchi with a lemon and caper and sun-dried tomato sauce. Ciao for now.